Are Thai people really from the Altai Mountains? The important highlight is at the end of the clip. Hello, see you again with YUM Comment Global. Please all Thai people. Do not comment in a disparaging manner. Implied in a way that would cause conflict hatred. Because those who succumb to the evidence of truth. Trying to use dirty methods. Claims that the channel is intended to create hate. Then will make a report to close this channel. In order not to present the facts to the world anymore. If there are those who violate we will warn you first. And if you continue to violate again. We will assume that you are not Thai. And will delete your comment as soon as we detect it. For this clip, it will be a continuation of the story. Thai National Costume, Ban Chang World Heritage Site. Which I have already presented before. Which shows that the ancient civilization of Thailand it has been around for a long time. Especially the ancient civilization of Thailand, Ban Chang World Heritage Site has been registered as a World Heritage Site number 359 from the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, in December 1992. In fact, prehistoric archaeological evidence found in Thailand, it has existed since the Old Stone Age, is in the range of about 500,000 to 10,000 years ago. From finding various archaeological evidence, in the caves, cliffs and plains along the river banks. For example, in many areas of Kanchanaburi province of Thailand. It also found archaeological evidence in the Old Stone Age, over 10,000 years old. In many areas of Thailand. For example, Nan province, Lopburi province and Nakhon Ratchasima province etc. For the oldest archaeological evidence found in Thailand is at the Tam Khao Archaeological Site, behind Ban Thap Prick School Mween Krabi District Krabi Province which is about 38,000 years old. The evidence found is bonfire, stone core tools, stone fragment tool, animal bone tools. Ban Chang World Heritage Archaeological Site makes us aware of human life in prehistoric times in Thailand. Go back more than 4,300 years. According to the results of determining the age of organic matter, mixed in the earliest pottery of Ban Chang, that it was about 4,300 years ago, by the ancient civilization of the Ban Chang World Heritage of Thailand, there is a starting point from the development of living together as a village 5,600 years ago. It is a developed people, know how to plant rice and raise animals, including being organized such a system. Burial is a tradition that has been passed down through the ages. It is important evidence. In the study of social organization in prehistoric times. There is also evidence that shows the prosperity of technology. Such as, production of pottery with high craftsmanship. Manufacturing of metal tools. By being an invention that has a way of belonging to Ban Chang's own culture. It is not influenced by China or India as it used to be thought. Ancient Civilization of Thailand, Ban Chang World Heritage Site Have knowledge in weaving and fabric production. Weaving originated from rope making, mats, and wickerwork. Pottery striped rope grafted it is evidence to show that an ancient community in the Ban Chang Cultural Site, known to make ropes for at least 5,600 years ago. Evidence related to the production of yarn or fabric that are always found in Ban Chang cultural sites are terracotta ware. This is a tool used to spin threads. Most of them are spherical, hemispherical, oval, flat round, cone shape, two cones spliced together, etc. Evidence of weaving technology is evident in the Metal Age. That is, cloth and traces of cloth have been found on bronze and iron tools. From examining the fibers using a microscope, no traces of dye were found. The result of fiber analysis by scientific method was found. Fabrics from most Ban Chang cultural sites. It is a fabric woven from hemp fibers. And a small part is woven from cotton fibers. From all this archaeological evidence. It is a clear proof that. Ancestors of Thai people today. Has settled in the settlement. It has been in this region for more than 5000 years. 
Here we come to the important question that, are Thais really emigrating from the Altai Mountains? If we look at the geographical characteristics, we will find that, the Altai Mountains are the junction area of four countries, Russia, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, and China. This area is a cold area. It is characterized by mountains covered with ice at negative temperatures. Almost no people live. And if walking from the Altai Mountains, down to the area of Thailand with the shortest distance, there will be a distance of about 3,900 kilometers. And must pass through the vast Gobi Desert. It is about 800 kilometers wide. And is approximately 1,600 kilometers long. In the winter weather, temperatures in the Gobi Desert can reach as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. And the temperature reaches 45 degrees Celsius during the summer. The weather has a rapid change of up to 35 degrees Celsius within a 24 hour period. No water, no food. If you spend time traveling 10 kilometers per day, with the shortest distance being 800 kilometers across the width of the desert, you will use the travel period for 80 days without water and food. Of course, your daily travel distance, it will gradually shorter and shorter with fatigue, lack of water and lack of food. The idea of Thai people immigrating from the Altai Mountains, starting from a book called Lak Thai. The author is Kunwichit Matra, received royal awards and certificates, literature of the Royal Society, in the year 1928. Overall content states that, in the past, the Thai people used to live in the Altai Mountains, about 6,000 years ago, later migrated down to the Huang Herb River, called the Thai Mung Kingdom, or the Thai Muang Kingdom, and have migrated down to the Yangtze River Basin, but later lost the city to China therefore had to migrate further south. Content from this book has been included in the Thai textbook. Even though there are still some controversies, because there is no credible evidence let's support this idea. But eventually it was removed from the textbook in the year 1978 or 45 years ago. In the year 1980, working group of the Arts and Culture magazine traveled to the house of Kun Wichit Matra for an interview on questionable issues. The story of Thai people immigrating from the Altai Mountains, as written in the book titled Lak Thai, and published that interview published in Arts and Culture magazine, March 1980 issue. Kun Wichit Matra claimed that, he didn't come up with it yourself, but it came from Dr. William Clifton Dodd, the author of the book's name, The Thai Race, The Elder Brother of Chinese. Kun Wichit Matra said, I wrote according to Dr. Dodd's. He said so. It's not when I came to make it myself. I don't know, then laughs. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't have an answer for you. Is it true that Thai people emigrated from the Altai Mountains? Because I believe, reasonable people, educated people, have intelligent, have thoughtful, have complete consciousness, would be able to think analytically that, what should be the correct result? Thanks for watching. If friends like this clip, Please press like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. In order not to miss a good story in the next clip. For this clip, I have to leave first. See you again in the next clip. Say what decrup.